Hi Leo, welcome to your mid-month reading. As always, keep in mind that this is only a general reading. Always take what it feels right and with what does resonate within your own life experiences during this time. If you would like to have a personal reading with me, please contact me through the email I put in the description box below for the month of May. As usual, I have a special sales offer available that for this month, it's inspired in the current Taurus season we are on. If you'd like to know more details about it, you can read in the description box below or you can email me with your questions if you would like to donate and support my channel you can also find the link down below uh, as well as the current list of reading services i offer so leos i'll be uh channeling messages for the collective of your sign and then we'll tie it together also with the messages that will be showing up with the cards um I feel like many of you are seeking something different, like a different path, a different, a different um, place of residence, a different uh, work opportunity, something else, something more. I feel like there's this yearning for discovery, for self-improvement and to break free from restraints, routines, things that have kept you somehow um limited confined within spaces and situations you really feel like you're outgrowing so may it's about exploring options to leave something and to go towards something different something else uh, many of you could be feeling in you know motivated and attracted lord to uh perhaps make arrangements for a big trip or a holiday um, vacations I'm sorry to go to, to go to somewhere that is appealing to you or that you've always wanted to to visit others of you are exploring again um, options to get yourself you know um, a part of something you know unusual for you like a, a course um, a training program, you know, a club of sorts. I just feel like there's something here about you getting yourself connected with a very different element from your usual life. That it's um, a big point about the experiences of the month. Others of you also feel restless. Again, it's just this restless energy of not feeling... Um, in harmony within yourself and in the places uh, you used to feel okay um, many of you need to search for activities that can help you unwind that's especially those of you that this is about high stress levels because i feel like for those of you that will be very passive about this the the restless feeling the anxious energy is just going to get worse and it might be very triggering for you and those with you to deal with it. I do feel like there might be some issues with relationships, um, not understanding in particular relationships that are not really understanding where you're at, what's up with you, why the sudden change, why the sudden um, shift. It's like people can see that you're not okay, but at the same time, they really don't get what is what is it really about. Maybe you're struggling to communicate or you just don't have the answer. So how can you explain, you know? So I do feel like there might be a sense of you needing to address what's up with you in general, being with yourself or with others, because otherwise I feel like this can affect negatively the quality of your life and the quality of the things you do have going on for you there's something about uh, high maintenance so either people feel like you're very high maintenance you yourself could feel like you're very high maintenance right now and it, it is okay to be but it's like that feeling of you need to assume that that's the reality that's the truth you're not just happy with with um you know minimum you're not going to be less then what you feel like being, you, you know, just to fit small places or places like other people f feel you should fit. Or I, I just feel like there's something about 
you liberating aspects of your energy that have been tamed indeed and the problem here is like maybe now is all at once so it's very shocking a very uh intense you know processing this because you have been taming this is the card of suppression the ten of wands so you have been suppressing so much and this is fire yeah so it's it is about your wild free spirited desires there's something that you have been holding back from living from doing from being from becoming oh something you have not been assuming you know owning up to a desire um that has been eating you up on the inside and this is where like you're placing this enough boundary i feel like you're you have reached your limit when it comes to hiding denying suppressing and quieting down things that you need to voice and you need to put out there um yeah definitely you have been in a phase where things have been a little bit strange um not in sync with that majestic you know um confident glowing aspect of your essence leo you have been in energy that is very serious you have been an energy that maybe has been also very about abstinence loneliness um sacrificing your personal desires and needs for the sake of many other things others of you have been in a spiritual quest to find again answers to find healing to find some sort of understanding of your own life and now that you have reached this realization it's like you're coming out of the the hiding places where you're finding where the real issue lies with this hermit energy still affecting the present even though it's in the past it's like you're you know the hermit is all about this big um energy of closure as well yeah so it's like you're wrapping up a process about finding out what your true needs and desires are and if you should embrace them or not i feel like there's some 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 of you that know what those desires are already it's like you have been in an energy of trying to contain it because of the effect that could have so it's like, should I pursue my desires? Should I, again, own up to those? Or should I just stay in this very restricted, controlling energy, depriving myself from my true needs? I do feel like for some of you, you could be dealing with a strong um, feminine influence that is helping you or inspiring you to bloom as you see this person blooming or you are again unconsciously activating the empress energy which is about pleasure which is about feeling good within your own skin and within the nature of your own pleasures and desires this is a very i'm picking here something very carnal very sexual even for some of you maybe there has been again as i said ab sexual abstinence for some reason or because either because there has been you have been single or you have been uh, either you know deliberately choosing this abstinence or not being this just you know um thing that ended up happening right now i feel like there's something about you breaking free from those chains of um pleasure deprivation so it could be any kind of pleasure that you have been denying yourself uh, of for any kind of reason but particularly to control again that wild spirit that wild nature maybe you feel like if you give in to whatever kind of desires you have um, you would overdo it, you will lose yourself. And I feel like you're understanding the opposite. It is by following here some um, some of your desires that you're going to embody um, a lot of 
improvements when it comes to self, when it comes to um, the appreciation you have of your own body, of your own beauty, and also of your own um, opportunities, you know, career-wise, creatively. -wise. I feel like there's also a big creative process here. So for some of you, it's like you have been containing your creativity, and now it's like you're going to be giving room to a lot of creative energy to come to the front and take you by the hand, leading the course of the next months into certain um, accomplishments. Maybe you want to creatively accomplish something you feel now ready to. Maybe you haven't felt ready before. This is something about you feeling ready to be as abundant, as beautiful, as sensual as you want to be. You could also be dealing here with um, a pregnancy. So either like you could you could be in in this pregnant energy, and the pregnancy is activating in you actually a lot of desires of all kinds. Um, it's heightening your senses, and this is very stimulating but also at the same time sometimes stimulating but at the same time can also be very um upsetting because you're not used to this intensity of desires I'm, I'm picking on or you could be dealing with someone that could be either very maternal or pregnant herself that it's inspiring you yeah things will get to its point of balance there's going to be an element of you being able to find back your footing after a period of um, unpredictability. But it's going to take a while for you to feel settled. What I'm feeling is like you've been in a, one side of the, uh, of the energy and now you're going to go to the opposite end. And you're swinging between opposite forces, right? Which can be very, again, um, upsetting to our sense of stability and security. But it is by those two contrasting forces and experiences that you're going to reach the um, ideal... The ideal um, integration that you're supposed to. Especially if you feel like if you go through phases of big periods of abstinence and in the end depriving depriving yourself from certain needs and self neglect, um, self sabotage, and then you go through periods of uh, hunger, hedonism, um, excesses of all kinds. You you're ultimately in a learning process about. Mod how to moderate yourself without sacrificing anything and I feel like there's something on those lines that it's very important you could just be also finding healing finding healing in unexpected places because it is about different it is about something different again a new path a new opportunity to grow income stability a family uh, a home I keep getting like up until the end of the year, there's a lot of things that are going to be planted, seeds that are going to grow in very different places. So you might really be considering a huge uh, move of residence or a huge uh, shifting of how things have been in your life because also, the Empress with the Temperance cards speak a lot about beauty, um, about aesthetics, about what's pleasant to the eye and to the soul. You could be in a journey where you're going to be able to profit here from your creative interests, especially those related to either the beauty industry, the spiritual industry, um, in particular, the industry that deals with uh, fem the feminine world, the feminine reality. There's something about many of you, besides of you being um, a woman or a man listening, uh, being able to 
profit and attract and manifest all sorts of abundance and luck through womanhood. So I hope you have a great month. Hopefully we'll see each other soon.